boys and girls, welcome back to At Home with Miss S. It is week four of our Plants and Trees, Jordan. And it's an exciting week because we are going to talk about what lives in plants and trees. Wow, a lot of owls. Owls, yes, and owls. Birds. And birds. What else? Hmm, squirrels. Squirrels, so many different animals. You need some hay, Jackie. Yeah, so many animals make trees and plants their home, guys. But I want to talk about a special creature, one in particular that I admire very much, the chameleon. The yeah. chameleon. Chameleons, Chameleon most of them live on Madagascar and they are experts at camouflage. They have special skin crystals that allow them to change their skin color. And they use this mechanism to communicate with other chameleons and to regulate their body temperature. Chameleons eat large insects. They like to eat grasshoppers and crickets and other things like that. And they have special feet that act like tongues, which helps them to climb trees. So imagine using this to climb your, a tree. They have special tails too, so their feet and their tails help them to climb all the way up where they live, okay? So what I want you to do, I want you to listen to this story, very nice story about a chameleon. And when you're done with that, come back to us and we're gonna make a very cool science experiment. Can't wait to see you. A color of his own by Leo Leone. Parrots are green. Goldfish are red. Elephants are gray. Pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, a chameleon, who was sitting on a tiger's tail, said to himself, If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in autumn, the leaf turned yellow. And so did the chameleon. Later the leaf turned red and the chameleon too turned red. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch and with it the chameleon. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass and he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own? He asked. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together and purple and yellow and red and white polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for reading with me. The end.